Mailbag question, Gibbs, from VG Mighty YP, just Mighty P. He wants to know, what are your thoughts on a play call sheet? So love a play it. Play call sheet. I love it. You know, I I've never done it. Uh, I don't think that I would ever probably follow it because I. He's thinking like plays on third and five, no, no, two point no. conversion plays. I'm thinking beyond that, man. I'm thinking really doing it. I'm thinking you come out and script your first drive. Like I'm gonna on first like. I'm gonna come out on first down, and I'm gonna run single back A stretch, then I'm gonna run single back dive, and then I'm gonna go to shotgun, run Y corner, then I'm gonna go to screen, like literally scripting out that game plan. Like, you know all the plays that are effective. Like if you looked at all your plays in your playbook and you're like, okay, I know this play is good. Like, yeah. for example, are you in the Browns, Browns playbook? Yeah. I just wanna go to a, like, you, you basically pull out all your 10 best plays. So give me gun, single back deuce close, right? Yeah. And go down, uh, flip, flip the formation, run, run PA cross. Okay. This play in and of itself is not going to necessarily win you an entire game, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, if you come out and you script, and it's a script, right? This plays on the first play, if you run this the first play every game, and people well, don't know, you go? give me the flat. Like, it's going to be something that's really consistent for you through it way too late, it's but- because the quarterback had a horrible play action animation. Just, you could break out of it. Uh, but the idea is like, run this scripted style offense, like you know what's gonna be open, like just go out and get a free five yards. Okay, now come back, go to your next play. You know that gun split close, the wide receiver corner play is good. Come out and just throw the, the flat, right? And just go down that progression of scripted plays that you know are effective, and then go from there. Why would you do that, though, if you knew already that the plays you had were going Here's to why. work against a defense? Because you don't know what your opponent's going to call. Here's why. I think I think there is a method to the madness of it is because you you can get your your progression down like if you get into a system and like this is what I run at that start of every game you you will end up building confidence in it just like you already have reads like you'll you'll run this your first play of every game well, what if it and you'll know what this does man under you'll have a read for it you'll, or you have a hot route for it you'll do something like because you'll get so consistent in running this like this becomes part of your scheme do you have to script out the hot routes yeah. Oh yeah, you, yeah, that's part of it. You script out the hot routes. Okay, if I see man, I'm gonna put one of my tight ends on a quick out, if, or put him on an in. If I, or I put one of guy on a drag, like something along those lines. I think it's kind of cool. I, I've always thought about it. What, you're smirking. You don't, you don't like it. Do I think that's gonna help you become do, a better player? Do Probably I not. think? Do I think that we don't? Do I think we don't have play call sheets in our brains? We have play call sheets in our brains. Right. Like, I know on my first drive, I I always do on my first drive. I call halfback stretch. No, I know, but down. I'm saying for not for you or I. Like, this, this is... Who's this for? This is for someone that's trying to get better at the game. Someone that's like... That's, yeah, you should write down all the plays that you run and know how to run. Correct. So any plays you've practiced, you should have those in your brain. But, but for example, I'm just pulling from the Patriots, right? They, they said, okay, well, why did Jimmy Garoppolo look so good in that first game he played? Well, he, they were like, well, he looked good because the first 15 plays were scripted. They practiced, practiced it all week. He knew exactly what to do. I think there could be a lot of translation between that and in what you see in Madden. Like the same thing. I think if you scripted your first 10 plays and you ran those first 10 plays every single game, do I think it could be effective? I do. I think it could be really effective. Yeah, but if you have 10 plays, you have enough plays to just be good. Sure, but you know, but you you you're gonna gravitate towards a formation that can like can carry you through the course of a game, like. You, like I was saying, like I don't think you can really run single back deuce close for an entire game. I don't think it has enough legs to run an entire game. I don't think you should. I think that right. should be your starting formation, run the ball. That's your run the ball formation. Sure. Then you have your split close, which is either, and then you have your tray trips open, which is run or pass, and then you have your five wide, which is all out pass. Those you have four formations. Yeah. You stay in those four sets. For sure. Your cash. For sure. Yeah, I like that. And you can write those down on a piece of paper as long yeah. if you practiced them. Hundred reps. Get you if you got your hundred reps and then you can run those in the game. It would be smart to write them down. Um, calls per situation. I guess you could write them out. Like halfback. If it's third and one, I'm going to run the halfback wham. Right. I don't think I need to have a sheet of like third and one plays. I don't think you do. QB you don't. sneak, fullback dive, halfback wham. But then you get you too, don't. like you don't you don't need that. But I but if we rewound nine years ago, you might need that. You might have needed that. What was that, man? That was uh, Madden 05, I just ran two plays. Let's see. So over. Madden seventeen. So Madden seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, twenty-five, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Madden 09. I don't think you even played Madden 09. I think you took Madden on and off. You played 08. Curls, fullback dive? Did you play that year? Curls and fullback dive? Ton? Yeah. Made travel to some tournaments. Uh, Madden 08, Madden 10 on my jam. 
Ten was a good game. I think you should write down all the plays you could possibly run in a game, and then you should remember like what they're used for. I think that's not a bad idea. I don't know if you need a play call sheet. I would never, if I had a play, my concern is this, guys. If it's third and five, and I'm like, all right, let me go to my third and five plays. All right, well, it's tight end angle. Uh-oh, well, he's in cover two, and that stops tight end angle, but it's third and five. Don't care. Like, I'd rather just not call this play. I would go to, like, a different play, even if I hadn't done it. I would go more based on what the defense, I believe, they're going to be in, rather than what the play call sheet says. So that's those are my thoughts. Like, the Giants on third and one run halfback. Uh, shotgun draw on third and one all the time. Right. And it's like, that's their play call sheet, but if the other team stacks the box, then they gotta get, like, out of the play. But it's a very good question. It will help you if you're a newer player become better. Yeah. Write down all the plays you've practiced and could possibly run in any situation you'd possibly use them. Yeah. That way you don't forget either. Right, well, I, I, I think I, I think where I'm gravitating towards it more is, like, you naturally are a player that likes to play the game more freestyle, like, more, like, Reactive to what I see. Play as the flow. Yeah. Where I like the scripting idea because I like I like to be very systematic. Like, okay, no, I like this play, this setup versus this. Like, and going in that approach, like right. systematic, like Bing, 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 Bing. Yeah, like where, some people write out their hot routes. Right. No thanks. I don't do that. People, right. you know, I think people do that when they lab. I see a lot of people do that when they lab. Like, yeah. hey, I gotta remember. Oh, that was actually a really good setup right. that I had against cover two. Same thing with like blitzes and stuff. Right. So. So. Okay. Good question. Good conversation.